happy Monday everybody! So I'm back from uni, I was only at uni 11 till 1 today so it was a very short day and I've got back from uni and look my t-shirt's arrived! I haven't told you this yet but we've set up a team we're going to be walking for the Alzheimer's Society it's called the Memory Walk and that's in September at some point can't wait, we're going to raise some money hopefully for dementia but I'll post the link and you can have a look what it is, what we're going to do and yeah, if you're interested in doing a walk for the Alzheimer's Society you might want to see what the nearest one available to you is does that make sense? <laughs> sometimes my words come up backwards don't know if you've noticed but yes, so today at university it was only a two hour lecture we were just going over what we're going to be doing for our assignment and posters it was like a tutorial session again the same as we did for our leaflet and rationale so it's the same for our dementia poster and our dementia assignment that we've got. So we just did that, it was a good session. We found out that we've just got a couple of tweaks that we need to make to our poster. So we sat up a poster group, we've done a couple of tweaks and I'm hoping just one last little section that we need to just add and then it's 100% finalised. I know I keep saying this, but this time <laughs> it's 100% finalised and we can run through it and make sure we know what we're talking about ready for our poster presentation so fingers crossed good morning everybody it's half past seven it's a scorching hot day i don't know what temperature it is but it feels like it's 20 so i'm sure it's not 20 at half past seven in the morning but that's how it feels it's hot um i've got the day off from uni but i've got a bank shift i pick up the bank shift today so on the way to my bank shift and I'm working 10 till 5 today and hopefully it's going to be a great day. I'm at a different clinic today so I'm really excited to go and see everybody there. I haven't seen those people for ages so I'm really excited to see everybody and catch up with everyone, see what everyone's up to. Um, so I'll see you all later. I'm at work and look what I've got. I've got ice lollies for everyone, I've got juice for everyone. It's going to be a scorching hot day and everyone's going to need to stay cool. So I've just been to our other university campus to meet up with the magazine guys and it was so good the campus the course i'm building in town it's just behind me i don't know if you can see it from there it's down there anyway um and it's just fantastic it's such a nice building it's modern it's fresh there's like loads of seating areas it's really um light and airy there's little pods that you can sit in um i'm going to show you now um i took some videos whilst i was inside so you can all have a look it's amazing just another reason why you should come to Birmingham city university Yesterday we had two lectures, so we had all about end of life and palliative care and then we had a second session of law and ethics which was really good, we got to sit in groups and then we were given a task like a scenario to work out and understand the law and ethics behind that scenario so that was quite good and it's really useful for again for our assignment so fingers crossed my assignment's going to be amazing <laughs> But it's all really good information and then the, the first session was all about end of life and we had to define what end of life was b between end of life and palliative care it's a really touchy subject and the, the we've got shown this amazing youtube video called dying matters i'm going to post the links below please go and have a look at it because it really makes you think about end of life and if you're caring for someone with end of life um needs so go and have a look at that, it's really emotional, I'm going to warn you now. It's almost as emotional as Barbara's story and it just, it really makes you think and you think, oh my god. So go and have a look. So it was an emotional day and that was to start the day. <laughs> so yesterday was great, I got home probably about half seven I think because we were at uni one till six so it was quite a late one. So today I am off. Whoa! So I've got the day off, I've got to go to Solly Hall today, I'm taking my laptop in because my laptop crashed it's dead it's gone it's r.i.p laptop and i didn't realize that it was still in its warranty so i'm gonna take it in hopefully they're gonna fix it or give me a new one and fingers crossed it's gonna be a great day so let's see what happens got that friday feeling it's friday um, i'm on my way to meet um kev who's given me a one-to-one -one coaching session as part of the haas and then i've got a lecture 12 to 2 and then i'm meeting my group at three o'clock for our fine just finishing off our literally last bits to the poster and then 
we have to do a run through of the poster and it's not something we've done yet so we have to time it and make sure we're doing good so I'll see you all later I'm back so I've got back and my friend Taylor told me that she had sent me a letter slash present slash parcel that's here I love getting mail like nobody writes letters anymore everything's online and everything's emails or text messages I love handwritten letters so I'm gonna open it here Ooh, got some little stickers Darth Vader I don't know what that is maybe a fox is he from Zootropolis? yeah he is isn't he? Zootropolis Iron Man welcome to Las Vegas amazing I love these okay I got oh some hand sanitizer she knows me very well <laughs> what nurse doesn't like hand sanitizer and it's got unicorns on can we just appreciate the unicorns for a moment yeah it smells like cherry it smells like Bakewell tarts that's what it smells like it smells like Bakewell tarts so it's unicorns and it smells like Bakewell tarts what is not to love about that that's amazing thank you oh I've got a little pen shall we have a look this is it this is the outside it's got my name what sort ways up does it have to go it's got my name on it oh it opens oh that's so cute and there it is oh and it's got a quote inside let's have a look at the quote hang on if you want to change the world pick up your pen and write by martin luther king oh thanks tay tay that's amazing so today i had an amazing session with kev from the hard team and we just talked about all of the insights profiling and how I haven't talked to you about insights have you have I yet so you're probably thinking what the hell's insights so <laughs> insights is basically it's a questionnaire thing that you fill out and according to your answers and the questions and every the way you answer things it sort of analyzes what sort of person you are and it brings out this colorful thing and I'm this mixture of green color which is more of a caring nurturing sort of personality so I can use the insights profile to sort of mold myself and use my strengths and weaknesses that it shows me to enable me to become my best self and also it tells you what your opposite is so my worst nightmare and how to deal with that person if I was ever to come up against that person so it's really useful and it's just great and it's a great tool if say for instance you're in conflict with someone at work or at university or wherever you are anyway if you've got a conflict with someone it's really useful to know what color energy and what sort of person they are coming across if they're like aggressive and stuff it sort of enables you to understand how to turn the situation around to benefit both of you so that you can work together in harmony so that's what we did today i've picked up a re some really good points today from kev and i'm going to use them to mold myself and be better <laughs> and i definitely need improving and to become my best self I need to work on myself so that was great and then I went to university met up with my poster group again and did a little a couple of little things and we added some things in to hopefully make our poster presentation better that's our plan <laughs> and next week we have to submit it we have to submit that through the e-submissions online next week next Friday I think is the 6th and then on the 11th is our post presentation which i keep telling you this but i think we're on it we are on it we are organized i haven't got any concerns at all about this post presentation because i think we're going to be all right and the only worry i have is we don't know what questions they're going to ask so if they ask us something and we don't know something that's going to be a big no-no so we need to make sure we know everything about our poster and the research that we've done behind it so fingers crossed it's going to be all right so that's all I've really got to talk to you about for today. Um, tomorrow it's open day at university. I'm so excited, like, <sighs> I know, I just can't contain it. Do you know what? I've never been to an open day for my university. So this is like, not only am I helping them out, but I'm getting inside access. 
like I'm reliving the moment that I should have had before I was a student so that's really exciting and obviously I'm gonna vlog I'm gonna vlog about it I'm gonna show you what it's like to be at BCU open day and actually I might go around and see how many freebies I can get for myself will anyone know I'm a student I'm gonna work out who's on the stores do I know them can I get freebies I'm gonna I'm gonna try this guys tomorrow so that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow also in the morning at half past nine in the morning I'm gonna be talking to all of the students I'm gonna do a little speech about why they should come to BCU how it's helped me the things I'm involved with and yeah that's gonna give me a little bit more confidence with my public speaking so I'm really excited I can't wait to I love meeting new students I love welcoming all of the new students into our university I love talking to all the first years during welcome week it just it makes me so happy and it makes makes me so happy meeting students and then seeing their journey through first year it's just I love it I love it so much yeah I'm really excited I can't wait to show you all open day oh I haven't showed you my t-shirt look at my t-shirt okay you're ready for this I am BCU, look at it. It looks massive, I purposely got a medium because I knew it was gonna be hot weather. So I thought if I get a medium, it'll be baggy and oh, I'll be able to breathe. So I'm excited for that. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm here for the open day and I'm here to talk to all of the students that are gonna be sat here. I did a little bit of a freebie dash at the end and I got a pack of goodies. So, open day programme, a water bottle, pen, everyone loves a pen, notepad, and I don't know what's in these boxes but I'm going to have a look. Oh, BMI and a measuring tape, magic box number two, we have got, oh, pedometer now that's a good freebie I also got free lunch look at that <laughs> free lunch so that's it it's a day it's done um, I've had such a fantastic time a really great experience and I'm so glad I got this opportunity to do today and it's really worth coming to an open day if you're looking into it